Konnichiwa, Hirihime desu. So welcome back to my channel. Today's video is gonna be Lush hits and misses. Um, the company Lush is a British company and I first tried their products when I moved to Japan because there was no Lush store that was really close to me back home. So it's something that I've discovered here and I've continued repurchasing since I moved here. And there are some things that I really, really love by Lush, and there are some things that I would consider a miss and things that I wouldn't repurchase. Um, it's kind of funny, it really does jump out to me that way. It's either a hit or a miss with Lush. What I love about Lush is that they're cruelty free, they don't test on animals, and a lot of their products are really natural, made from natural ingredients. Um, some are organic and preservative free, they tell you on the labels, like, some of them say preservative free, their fresh face masks are made with like fresh ingredients. Uh, the downside of that is that some things expire pretty quickly, like using the fresh face masks as an example. I have gotten two of them and one of them expired before I could use it. It, it just expired really quickly, so I guess you should just have that in mind when you buy it. But anyway, I really love Lush. So I'm gonna start with uh, the misses. I'm just gonna go in backwards order. The first probably eight will be things that I wouldn't repurchase again, but it's a little bit flexible there in the middle, so just use your own judgment. And then when obviously once I get towards number one, those are things that I will repurchase. The thing that really didn't work out for me at all was the tea tree water toner. Um, it's like a facial toner. It comes in a spray bottle and um, I heard really amazing reviews about it. A lot of people really love it. I think it's a very, very popular product, so I mean, it's it's worth a try, and I tried it, but I think it's just not really good for my skin. I've, tri I've tried tea tree water on my skin in the past, and I didn't like it. It's just so drying, and it makes me break out, and that's what happened with the toner. I actually broke out, so that really didn't work out for me. I don't have the bottle with me. I gave it to my boyfriend, so yeah, that's gonna be the least favorite. Next would be the Cupcake Fresh Face Mask. This is another really, really popular product, and I wanted to like it so much. The smell is amazing. It smells like a minty chocolate. Um, the consistency is a bit, like, dry and, like, kind of like Play-Doh or something. And kind of the same thing when I put it on my face. It just, like, dried me out. I think it, did, it made me break out a little bit, too, and it just, just didn't really impress me. My face felt kind of tight and, like... I don't know. I have oily skin, but I like to keep my skin moisturized. I feel like keeping it moisturized, like, makes my face feel like it doesn't have to produce as much oil, if that makes sense. So anyway, I don't like stuff to dry out my face, so I didn't like that. A limited edition item, and it might actually only be in Japan, I don't really know. It's this. It is the First Snow Sparkling Dusting Powder. And basically, yeah, it's limited edition. I got it around Christmas time. Basically, it's just like a powder, like a fa ooh. A facial powder. I don't I don't know if you can tell, but it's a little bit sparkly. So it's it's like a white powder and it has these very fine little sparkles in it just and I thought it would be really pretty on top of like my cheekbones or something and looking like an ice princess or something like that. And also they had it displayed in the store in like a little jar with a brush in it so it was just really fun to just dip it and like put it on my hand and it was really pretty and I really like the smell. It's like citrus I guess. It's very hard to explain. It's a little like... It's very sweet. It's very sweet and kind of citrus. So I like the smell but I wouldn't repurchase this because one, the packaging is just stupid in my opinion. It's like you know, a little hole, I mean, you know, I, I, about half of this is gone because I put it in a jar like they did in the store, and, um, I just never reach for it, I don't really use it, I, maybe, I think that the sparkles are a bit too big in it for me to, like, use on a regular basis, so I think I just bought it on a whim, and, <laughs> and I kind of regret it. It's the Feeling Younger Skin Tint. And um, this comes in a little jar like this, and it's like a cream. It 
Well, it feels a bit like a mousse or something. And it's white. But it has these little, very subtle, I wouldn't say sparkles in it, but just like, I don't know how to explain it. Very, very subtle and fine kind of shimmers. And it kind of gives that reflective thing and they're kind of like a warm tone it's like white um, mousse but then it has like a warm tone shimmer in it I I just you know I thought it was pretty when I swatched it in the store but I never used it I, I did try to use it when I first got it and when I put it under my makeup like kind of as a primer it just didn't show up at all like there was no shine or anything it didn't really do anything once I put powder on top of it and if I mixed it in with my foundation, it also didn't have an effect. But then if I put it on top, it was really, it didn't blend and it just was really obvious and it was like streaky and I don't know, it just didn't work for me. So I wouldn't repurchase that. I luckily got a little sample size of this. It's the Enzymian, Enzy Enzymian moisturizer. Um, I had really wanted to try this, but it's really, really expensive. And I, I just, I think I was just waiting to buy it. But luckily, um, at one of the stores, they threw this in as a sample, and I got to try it. And um, yeah, I wouldn't re repurchase. I, well, I didn't purchase this, but I wouldn't purchase it, especially with the price. But I just wasn't really impressed. Um, it's okay, like it's okay. I used it all up, but um, the smell. It's very strong, it's a little bit earthy, and then also that kind of like tinge of like citrus maybe, but it's mostly like earthy. And I remember the first time that I put it on my face, I like rubbed it all over my face and like even over my eyelids, and it stung. Like this is like a stingy moisturizer. And um, I guess that makes sense because I had read that it was good for like acne and stuff, but um kind of harsh like I noticed that it irritated my skin just a little bit I have pretty sensitive skin but I noticed like it would have that little like sting and I'm just really not into that so they gave me enzyme and they also gave me vanishing cream and so I got to try both which I was really excited about because their moist luscious moisturizers are really expensive I tried the vanishing cream and I like the vanishing cream better obviously it's higher on the list but only one spot higher because I wouldn't repurchase it it is not like Enzymian it's very very um, average I just want to say it's average it doesn't really do anything it's like it just moisturizes I guess it's a moisturizer but it doesn't really do anything I remember when I first bought it it was like the consistency in the jar was more of like a mousse, like whipped, and then when I put it on my face it looked really oily. But then over time, it changed to where in the pot it was more like watery and like a normal lotion, and then when I put it on it would actually sink in better. So I don't know, I guess that's the natural ingredients kind of thing, so... I don't know, it was just very average, and the smell, I hated. The smell... I hate it, it just smells like a cleaner and kind of like... I guess dirt and and cleaners. No drought dry shampoo. Now, I wanted to like this. As you guys know, I use baby powder and I think it's just really hard to beat that for me because it just works really well like with my hair like being blonde and it's white. This is also white, but um, I just noticed when I put this on my hair, it felt I felt it very much on my hair. It was like a buildup. It was kind of like, mm, like sticky. Like you know, you can't really run your fingers through it. It feels kind of like tangled and like a buildup. Um, so I hated the way that felt. It just felt so grimy and ugh. But and and even though it did that, um, it didn't really even look oil free the way that baby powder does. Like when I put baby powder on my hair, my hair does not look oily. But I had to put like a lot, I remember having to put on a lot to like get the look of oil away. So yeah, I wouldn't repurchase this, but I really love the smell. It just smells like citrus and like a little bit of vanilla. So that's a plus to this. Ocean salt. This is another, uh, this is a scrub by the way. It's a face and body scrub, ocean salt. And it is like, um, well it's a scrub, but 
it's very 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 popular one of the most popular products and I think this was like the first thing I bought from Lush um, and I you know this is more on the fence we're getting more in the middle here so to, if I were to describe ocean scrub it is uh, I mean ocean salt it is um, the the formula I mean the consistency is really interesting it the consistency itself is kind of like a lotion if you can imagine that or like it's hard to describe it's like creamy but then it has like chunks of salt in it like kind of big chunks of salt so when you put it on your face I noticed like when I put it on my face in the shower it would like melt the salt and it would just kind of melt off and it, you couldn't really like scrub it into your face because the chunks of salt are kind of big so I tried it outside of the shower like when my face was dry and that was that worked better but over time I basically began to notice that the chunks of salt in this are not actually what's meant to exfoliate your face. If you just put the, the thing all over your face and let it sit for a minute, you'll feel your whole face like stinging a little bit. And I think that's because the formula of the actual like creamy part is what will exfoliate your skin. It kind of like cuts through that like layer of dead skin and gets it off. I think, I think that's more so what's exfoliating than the actual scrubs in it, which is interesting. You know, I think there are people out there that prefer that. Jackie Oates uh, color supplement I believe it's called and it's it's some makeup from Lush and it comes in the same jar as the feeling younger and I believe this is like a very good for people with very pale skin that's that's kind of what it's meant for I think and and it being a color supplement that means that you mix it with your foundation to adjust the color and um, that's exactly what I do with it and I'm pretty happy with that uh, you can't it's not very easy to just use it on its own if you want any kind of coverage because it just fades away it doesn't it doesn't really have any coverage when you use it on your own but on its own but I've noticed that when you mix it it really does make a difference so I like it um, I like I said like I said in a previous video hate the smell. This is the worst smelling thing that I've ever gotten from Lush. It's so horrible. Um, it, I kind of, I don't know if it fades away or if I just stop noticing it throughout the day, but it doesn't really bother me when I'm wearing it on my face. Um, it just smells like, it smells very artificial, ironically enough. Honey, I washed the kids soap and let me tell you, it's so amazing like if you've ever been in the Lush store you I hope you've smelled that soap honey I wash the kids because that to me is the best smelling that's the best smell in the whole world like in my opinion and the soap the soap itself isn't higher on the list because honestly the reason that I love it is the smell but as far as like the formula of the soap Mm, I mean, it's it's good. It's a bar of soap and then it has like a beeswax or like honeycomb kind of strip on it. And I, well, first of all, it gets used up very fast. It, it like goes very fast. There's no like, um, it, it, like when you use it, it just melts away, um, which kind of sucks. I know you can like cut it up in smaller pieces to like preserve it and that helps. And I will do that if I buy it again. I'm sure I will buy it again, but anyway. Um, the honeycomb strip, I guess, in theory, it would be good for exfoliating, but, yeah, uh, you know, it is what it is. It, it more so just, um, gives you that strong smell all over your body, and you really feel it, like, the layer on your body. It's kind of like that, like, soft layer all over you, as opposed to, like, the really clean soaps that make you just feel squeaky clean. It's not one of those soaps, so if you're the kind of person that likes to feel, like, squeaky clean after the shower, Mm, that's probably not the best soap for you. Okay, next thing on the list is my Mitsubachi Machi uh, perfume, Gorilla perfume, that I got in Osaka. And um, unfortunately, this is only available in Japan, I've realized. Uh, I'm sure you can find it online. I will put it in English and in Japanese down below this video so you can copy and paste it and maybe find it on the internet. I did find it for someone, so hopefully you should be able to. Uh, but this is amazing. It has the same scent as Honey, I Wash the Kids, which is why I'm so obsessed with it. And you unscrew it like this, and then you like push it up. I don't really like the packaging because you're like pushing it up, and then the only way to get it back down is to like jam the cap back on and like push it back down. 
which I don't really like. I kind of wish I could screw it up. But it's the smell is very strong, like, oh, it's so amazing. I freaked out about it in the Osaka video. I won't do that again. But uh, the, the like, formula of it is, like, kind of oily, which I really like because I think that makes it more long-lasting. It's, like, really, like, soaking into your skin. And, um, yeah, I love this. All right, now we're getting into the top five which is really exciting. Okay, uh, my number five, my top five, is the Dark Angels Fresh Cleanser. And I wanted to try this after I tried out Ocean Salt and I w didn't really like that formula. And this has an extremely different formula. This is a cleanser, Ocean Salt is a scrub, but this is definitely a scrub. It has like sugar in it. The only downside, well there, there are maybe two downsides, but I got over them. One of them is the smell. It smells, it smells extremely earthy, pretty much like soil. And um, the other downside is that it's pitch black. The, this is empty by the way, or I would show you, but um, it's uh, pitch black. So really in my mind the only place you can really use it is in the shower because otherwise you're probably gonna make a huge mess like if I tried to use it in my sink it would get black stuff everywhere and then like wiping it off with a, with a towel would be a mess so that sucks but I still like it all right my top four I'm actually really in love with and I feel like I would repurchase over and over again so <laughs> number four is the catastrophe cosmetic face mask and I feel like this face mask was like meant for my skin it I wish it was in here, I've used it all because the fresh face masks, they expire really quickly so you have to use them up. But this is the blueberry one. Um, I'm not sure exactly everything that's in it, but blueberry is the main thing and actually has little bits of blueberries in the mask. Um, it has kind of a similar consistency to Cupcake, they're both like clay consistency, but I found that this one was much easier to spread on my face. And basically what it does is it really calms down any irritation, it's extremely soothing and calming and cooling. So perfect for me, like I hate the pinkness in my skin, my skin's sensitive, so I love this to death. And the smell is so amazing, let me see if it still has a scent in here. Yes, you can still smell it, and it just smells so, like, clean, but not in a stringent way. It smells so, like, fresh and clean, if that makes sense. And I, and I love blueberries, so this is... I, I've only tried two fresh face masks, but I really think that this is probably my favorite. Number three, top three! Number three is the Honey Trap Lip Balm. And... I love this to death. I remember when I first saw this in the store, I was like, honey, because I'm like obsessed with honey. So I went up to it and I smelled it. And I remember not being very impressed by the scent. It doesn't really smell like honey. It actually smells a bit minty and um, sweet, but it doesn't smell like honey. So I was like, eh. And there's no color or anything. But I just kind of like put my finger in it and put it on my lip anyway I guess out of boredom and then that was at the mall and then uh, I like had lunch and then I left the mall and as I was driving home I felt that on my lips still that little tiny dab and it felt like soft and moisturized so I literally went back the next day and bought this and um, I've loved it ever since it is so so amazing I've never had a lip balm like this it just moisturizes so deeply. I like to put this on my lips before I go to bed at night. The only downside is the packaging, because it's got this pot thing and it's like pretty unsanitary to stick your finger in there, but it is what it is and I, I would repurchase this. Number two. Number two is something I actually have already repurchased, which to me is a pretty big deal because when I go to Lush I like to try something new. Eau de Roma. Uh, Eau Roma water. Uh, it is a toner, like the tea tree water toner. Um, well, they have three toner waters, I think. They have Oroma, Tea Tree Water, and then one other one. I think I just wasn't even interested in the other one. I forgot exactly what it is. But this is like a really gentle one, and that's why I wanted to try it. And I love it. I remember when I first bought it, I actually bought the little bottle to try it out, and I ran out. So I re-bought re the big bottle. And I remember when I first tried it, I was like... You know, it doesn't really do anything, it like, you know, it's not it's not really doing anything because it's meant for sensitive skin, so it's not like a very extreme effect. But I noticed that when I sprayed it, 
my color on my face would just like even out like toner is supposed to make your face do and I just noticed that I I just like it it's just a nice mist and it makes my face even out and then my moisturizer sinks in and you know it's just a I think it just fits me very well it's nothing that it will like change your whole face or anything but as far as the toner and what a toner is supposed to do this does what a toner is supposed to do for my skin and I like the smell a lot it just smells how do I describe it Ugh. It smells very light and fresh and just clean. I don't know how to explain it. It smells natural, light, fresh, clean. I like it. And my number one, my numero uno from Lush is the Grease Lightning Spot Treatment. And let me tell you, if you break out all, I, I really don't even break out that much, but this is my number one from Lush. This is something that I feel I've never had a spot treatment better than this. And that's because I was using, before I got this, I was using a spot treatment that would just dry up the breakout. And sometimes there would be a scar or whatever, but it was very harsh. So I tried this and some this is like magic. Like you put this on a breakout and it just goes away. Like you don't feel anything. There's no stinging whatsoever. There's no, it's just clear, like a clear gel. You don't see it. It, it doesn't irritate it whatsoever and it just makes it go away. I will admit it's slightly slower acting than most, you know, spot treatments, but honestly, like I, I'm willing to be patient for like a natural alternative that actually works. And it's just amazing. You just put it on and, you know, go to sleep or whatever and you wake up the next day and it's just fading away. It's just going away. Like, I don't exactly know what happens. Um, and another thing I love is that I'll probably never run out of this because you literally need the tiniest... The tiniest amount you can imagine is all you need. And it's very effective. Um, I think I got faulty packaging on mine, unfortunately, because when I push it, it just shoots out, so I've had to learn how to like slowly push it down, like half half push. Um, but I don't know if that's faulty or what, but I'll deal with it because I love this and I'll repurchase it forever. So that's it. I tried to be pretty like to the point with this video and not like chat about too many other random things. So I really, really hope that you enjoyed this video. Um, if you like Lush, please tell me what you like from Lush. If you have similar skin to mine, tell me what you recommend. Um, I really want to try Odafix Fresh Face Mask next, and I really want to try their um, lip glosses, actually. I want to like try it as a blush, because I saw a woman in the store do that, and it looked beautiful. Um, also, I'd be interested in trying their Aromaco deodorant, but I haven't actually seen that in a store. So anyway, yeah, let me know your favorite Lush products. Let me know if this video helped you. Thank you so much for watching, thank you so much for subscribing, and I'll see you next time. Sayonara!